In this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to play the Kahoot. As you can see, my screen is divided into two parts. The left side is the laptop or is the screen for, of the teacher. And the right side is the iPad, uh, which will be the tablet that the students are going to be using. So I will be working on both to show you, both the teacher and the student, what are they going to see and view on their screens. So the first thing I'm going to do as a teacher is I will click on my Kahoots. This will open for me all the Kahoots that I created. I pick which Kahoot I want to play with my students, angles and polygons, is the Kahoot we just created. So I will click on play next to the name. Now it will open this page for me which is settings and options. Uh, here display the game pin throughout. I always keep that yes. It's very important for the students to always see the pin on the screen. And it's good if one student disconnects he can always find the pin and reconnect. Show minimize intro instructions. This is nothing but showing them, the students on the screen, a short sentence like, now have your tablets ready to play. Now, randomize order of questions and order of answers. It's up to you. You can keep them no or yes. Here, place the questions and displays the answer in a random order, not like the same way we created them. Play music while waiting, I recommend always keep this a yes. The music uh, adds a lot to the experience. Now the advanced options, I always recommend keeping them off unless you want to try something uh, because I always like the teacher to control the questions and not automatically. Now, the last two things are classic and team mode. Team mode, if your students are working in groups, it means every group have one device while classic is where each student has his own or her own device. I'm going to click on classic. That I'm going to suppose that our students, they have each has his own device. Okay, by now, you can see get your the message was down. And now you can hear the music. I'm going to make it lower. Okay. So basically now we're waiting for players to join and Kahoot has this message all the time join at kahoot.it and the game pen is this so as you can see no players now I'm gonna go to my uh, iPad where the player should join so the players first are gonna click on Safari and as mentioned here they will go to kahoot.it so he's gonna write Kahoot dot I T go now the first thing is gonna ask him enter the game pin so where's the game pin the game pin is 704932 704932 enter and then it's gonna ask him to write in the name so suppose one of my students wrote as a name King. So the moment they put enter, you can see their name on the screen, and here it tells them see your nickname on screen. Now, as a teacher, maybe I don't uh, like this name or it's not appropriate to me. So what I can do is just put the arrow on it, and I can click once. You see on the right, the student is sent out from the game, and I will be asking them, you know, you should put uh, a better name or an appropriate name. So they're gonna do the same thing again. They're going to put the pin 704932, enter, and then it's going to ask them to put a name. This time I'm going to put Ahmad. Then you can see the name over here. Okay, and I have one player here. So I will wait for all my players to join, and once all my, my players are in, I click on start. Here, the quiz is loading, and if you remember, we had two questions. Question number one, the below shape is a polygon. Is it true or false? So now, this is 
this is displayed on the screen so the students has to look on the screen see the question and guess is it true or false now this is false so it's in blue so the student has to go to the blue and click to the device and click on blue as you can see on the right the students get a message which is correct 539 points and it gives him you are in first place while on the screen you can see a bar chart showing uh, the number of students that answered the blue or the red true or false okay now uh, I click next to go to the second question before that it gives me the scoreboard normally it gives me the top five players in my list but since it's only Ahmad I have only one but normally it gives me the top five okay then I go to next question number two is loading what is the sum of the interior angles of the below shape so again students will see this on the screen they will solve it and then they will see is it 720 180 540 or 360 now suppose one of the students on his uh, device clicked on the green saying that it's 360 it will tell him it's incorrect he will get this message the correct answer was 540 and you are now in first place again because it's only one player while on the screen of the teacher you can see the the bar chart showing who answered how many students answered each and you can always click on show image where it shows you the image of the question and then you can explain again to your students saying it was a pentagon and the sum of the angles is 540 again if I'm finished from this I click on next again it gives me the scoreboard of the top five players seen this now go end now after that it gives me who is the top scorer and here is Ahmad it gives the number of points the number of correct answers and the number of incorrect answers okay now before I finish the teacher can click on feedback and results and look what's gonna happen on the students tablets they will get this message saying how do you rate this Kahoot you give it one star two three four or five maybe this student gave me four stars did you learn something you have to vote thumbs up or down so they learned do you recommend it do you recommend we use it again they recommend it and finally to continue just tell us how you feel are you happy are you just normal or are you sad again the student is happy so the moment he finished giving me the ratings you can see all the ratings on the screen so how much they rated it was it learning recommended and how are they feeling now before we finish each student on his device they can share their score on their Twitter account or on their Facebook now the last thing we as a teachers can do we go to final results again we see the final scoreboard here we can either play again or we can go to save results here I can download the results and view it now or I can save it to my Google Drive so if I click download the results are downloaded and I can open it and see it now in case I forgot where the results are I can always see my results by going to the username and the top click on the drop down arrow and click on my results here I can see all the results of all my cahoots that I played with my students and this is the one we just played angles and polygons and I can download the results